the rap industry has experienced another drive-by shooting. This time, it claimed the life of rapper Young Dolph. The Memphis rapper was loved by so many people, and they just can't understand why he was killed. Well, we all know that behind every drive-by shooting is an ongoing beef. Fans have speculated that Soulja Boy was behind Young Dolph's shooting, and they have their reasons. Keep watching to find out how Soulja Boy was behind Young Dolph's shooting. The Shooting On Wednesday, November 17th, 2021, an unfortunate drive-by shooting occurred which claimed the life of Adolph Robert Thornton, popularly known as Young Dolph. The shooting happened at about 1 p.m. that fateful afternoon at Makita's Butter Cookies Bakery in Memphis, Tennessee. The rapper was visiting the bakery where he usually got his cookies from when two men rode into the drive-thru, pulled out their guns, and shot through the glass windows of the store. Sadly, the bullets hit the rapper and he lost his life. Young Dolph was a frequent customer at Makita's Bakery before his death. He enjoyed buying butter cookies from the store, and a couple of days before his death, the store posted a video of the rapper on their official Instagram page. Young Dolph was seen promoting the bakery's cookies in the video posted via their Instagram page. A lady was heard in the background saying, he always came over to the store and patronized them whenever he was in Memphis. The store owner, Maurice Hill, reported that the employees saw young Dolph walk into the store to buy some cookies, and shortly after he came in, someone drove up and shot him that afternoon. Dolph and another young man stood in the left corner of the store on their cell phones and never saw it coming. Maurice drove up to see his workers raising their heads from ducking bullets. The police released a statement where they described the killing of young Dolph as senseless. The police statement, which was declared by Memphis Police Chief Sarah Lynn C.J. Davis, read, The shooting is another example of the senseless gun violence we are experiencing locally and nationwide. Our hearts go out to the Thornton family and all who were affected by this horrific act of violence. Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland also released a statement. He said, The tragic shooting death of rap artist Young Dolph serves as another reminder of the pain that violent crime brings with it. My thoughts and prayers are with his friends and family. Before his death, Young Dolph was going through a rough phase. According to a post on his Twitter account on October 20th, Young Dolph said a doctor told him that he needed some time to himself. The tweet read, I never knew what anxiety meant until my doctor just explained to me that I have it this morning. In an August tweet, he said, Still can't believe I got to where I am in life. Still feel unreal. The death of Young Dolph was a huge blow to the Memphis community and a shock to the rap industry. Since the rapper has been involved in several shootouts organized against him by rival rappers, many fans believe that this was the doing of one of the rappers he had beef with. One rapper that fans keep talking about is Soulja Boy. The two rappers had an ongoing beef before Young Dolph's death, and many fans suspect that he's behind the shooting of Young Dolph, and they may not be wrong. Soulja Boy Beef Shortly before Young Dolph's death, he got into an online argument with Soulja Boy, which Soulja Boy ranted about a lot. Due to his constant media rants and unwarranted attacks toward Young Dolph, many fans believe that he was involved in the rapper shooting. On November 10th, the Paper Route Empire CEO claimed he made over $100,000 per show as an independent rapper, and Soulja Boy quickly tried to pull his card, suggesting he and Key Glock weren't independent. That's big cap, he said. They signed to Empire, I'm really 100% independent, no cap. Key Glock responded to Soulja Boy's claim the next day via an Instagram live video where he attacked Soulja Boy. Soulja Boy felt triggered by the post, so he made his own Instagram video where he said, man, Young Dolph, if you don't get your artist out my mother, DM, he said, you talking about? Thought he was bulletproof until he got shot like Dolph, Ain't you the that got shot at a hundred times? That got popped and shot at all the time? Now fans were really certain that Soldier Boy was behind the shooting because shortly after Young Dolph's death, Soldier Boy used the shooting as a reference to warn rapper Trouble. It all began when Soldier Boy tweeted about the release of his song, Stretch Some. Trouble attacked Soldier Boy in a tweet where he said, I like the little silly Soldier be doing time to time. It's entertainment. I get it. Don't be no and drop no song called Stretch Something the next day as if you got active in my dog losing his life, dude. That's love, bruh, Soldier Boy. And you know what's in with me. Soldier Boy replied his tweet saying, that song been out, but what you wanna do? You sound touch as hell on the internet 
You talking about police at Trouble DTE? But he didn't stop there. He went on to issue trouble and open warning that would most like keep him strapped up for a while. He tweeted, Boy, you could be next at Trouble DTE. The fans and the entire public suspicion of Soldier Boy's involvement in Young Dolph's death caused him to be removed from two shows on the 2021 Millennium Tour. One of the shows he was removed from, it's set to hold in Memphis, and apparently he was removed for precautionary reasons. I mean, it's only right that they do. We don't want another rapper getting shot, and we all know that's an easy peasy business in Memphis. Anyway, Soldier Boy wasn't having it at all. He went on the media rant on his Instagram live where he said, y'all mother then got me took off the Memphis show like Young Dolph dying got something to do with me. What the Young Dolph dying got to do with me? That's what the I'm trying to figure out. G Squared Events, who put on the tour, recently released a statement about the decision to pull a soldier. The safety and welfare of our patrons are the first and foremost priority, the statement read. We pride ourselves on bringing high quality concert experiences to our patrons. In times like this, we will stop at nothing to ensure that everyone that participates in these experiences is healthy, safe, and quite frankly, having a good time. Soulja Boy refused to share his condolences on Young Dolph's death because according to him, members of the Paper Route Empire's team were in his DMs threatening him just days before Dolph's death. All of these have caused the entire public to keep an eye on the rapper regarding the shooting of Young Dolph. Vigil Shooting It turns out that even after his death, Whoever Young Dolph had beef with didn't want his passage to be easy, and they didn't even want his fans to mourn him. Fans from his home city, Memphis, gathered right outside Makita's bakery, where the shooting happened to hold a vigil for Young Dolph. While the fans were paying their respects, a drive-by shooting happened again. This time, it was just next door to Makita's bakery at the family dollar store. Sadly, one person was shot, but it wasn't a critical injury. The police were, however, at a scene during the time of the shooting, so it wasn't too hard to catch the perpetrators. The three suspects managed to escape in a vehicle, and in response to that, the officers who were already at the scene proceeded to chase down a Nissan, which was later found to be stolen. After a short while, they crashed the car, ditched their guns, and tried to flee on foot. Police said the three threw their handguns as they were getting out of the vehicle to run away. After catching the suspects, officers located two handguns in the street, one in a field and one next to a garbage can, according to the affidavit. APD says Jones and two other individuals took off running from police and were ultimately caught. MPD recovered six guns and one of them is believed to have been stolen. They also located two firearms inside of the car. The suspects were taken into custody and charged with aggravated assault, evading arrest, three counts of possession of a prohibited weapon, two counts of reckless endangerment, two counts of theft of property, and six counts of unlawful possession of a weapon. The witnesses at the shooting dropped their statements and some chose to stay unidentified. Memphis rapper Tommy Wright said, we were paying our respects. About 30 or 40 people were placing flowers, signing the wall, and then a car drove by and started shooting. He also said that the victim was shot in the inner thigh and others at the scene called 911 and helped him up to the hospital. Another witness said, everybody, man, just scattered and hit the ground. They've blocked off the whole scene. It's become another crime scene all over again. A woman who chose to withhold her identity said, my life was in danger because I don't even have anything to do with it and I'm just up here paying my respect and it was like, Lord, I can't get killed. I can't get shot because I'm a grandma. After two shootings under 48 hours, Memphis police have added surveillance cameras and increased patrols in the area. Other shootings. Young Dolph had been involved in other shootings before now, but unfortunately, he didn't get out of this one alive. Back in September 2017, Young Dolph underwent emergency surgery after he was shot and critically injured. According to reports, he was shot in the valet parking area of the Lowe's Hollywood Hotel, Los Angeles. He got into an argument with three men, and when they got heated, one of them pulled out a gun and shot at him. Before they could hit anything vital, he managed to run into a shoe store where he hid until the medics came. Two of the men ran away while the third man escaped in a gold-colored car which was later found abandoned at a nearby gas station by the cops. That wasn't the only shooting he was involved in that year. In February, he managed to escape from a shooting unscratched as the SUV he was driving in while the shooting was happening was bulletproof. 
Reports stated that young Dolph was in an SUV when assailants reportedly fired in excess of 100 rounds at the vehicle. There were no injuries and Dolph claimed that he was unscathed by the bullets because he spent $300,000 spent armoring the vehicle. At the same time of the shooting, Dolph was involved in a heated debate with Yo Gotti and he believed it was his doing. In fact, he was on his way to a concert when the shooting occurred so when he got to the concert, he performed his Yo Gotti diss track, Play With Yo he went on to release an album after the shooting with a string of songs titled 100 Shots in Charlotte and But I'm Bulletproof. It however turned out that Yo Gotti wasn't directly involved in the shooting. However, his protege Black Youngster turned himself into the police. Young Dolph publicly revealed that Black Youngster had an eye on him because he was jealous of him. The police took the statement up and traced Black Youngster in connection with the Charlotte shooting. A warrant was issued for his arrest, but he however turned himself into the police alongside two others. Young Dolph Family Reaction The young rapper Young Dolph, who was only 36 years old at the time of his death, left behind two kids and a girlfriend who he was planning on getting married. He also had other families, including his mother, siblings, aunts, and cousins. His girlfriend Jay and the mother of his kids shared some clips on her Instagram page and captioned it, How am I going to tell my babies that daddy is never coming home? God give me strength. All the genuine positive vibes, energy, and prayers are welcome because Lord knows I need them, she wrote in another Instagram story. Adolf, I love you with all my heart and soul. Jay also promoted a GoFundMe account that was set up for Makita's Bakery. Adolph lost his life supporting a small business that has purpose, located in the very neighborhood that raised him, she wrote. Don't be mad that this is where he took his last breath. Let this serve as a memorial to remember just how human Adolph was and how he moved in ways only to bless others. Please support them and donate any extra that you have to see their business prosper. If you love him, help this business keep going. Young Dolph's cousin, Marino Myers, said that Dolph had been in the city since Monday of that week as he came to visit his aunt who had cancer and to spend Thanksgiving with his family. According to reports, he stopped by West Cancer Center in the Memphis suburb of Germantown on Monday, spending time with clinical staff and thanking them for the compassionate care given to a relative, the center said in a statement. Marino added that Dolph also planned on sharing Thanksgiving turkeys with homeless people in the community, which he did every year. He was inside Makita's and somebody just rolled up on him and took his life, Meyer said. The shooters. Thanks to the surveillance camera in the area, the shooters were seen. The surveillance showed two men holding guns outside of the store and spread widely on social media. The pair were wearing face masks and gray sweatpants as well as dark hoodies. One of the men was wearing a hat while the other had his hood up and the pair were also both holding weapons one appearing to be a pistol and the other a Draco AK-47. The police have now shared the surveillance photos of the two suspects. The photos show a person in gray pants and a dark hoodie with a gun in hand, apparently firing. The police also released a photo of a white Mercedes Benz, which they assume was the shooter's getaway vehicle. 